Well, our subject this week has a lot to do with prosperity. There is a scripture which is found in the book of Genesis chapter 2 and in verse 8 it says, The Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden and there he put the man whom he had formed. When God created man, he didn't create men that men would have to go through numerous adversities. For five days, God dedicated himself to preparing the house where men would dwell. Therefore, when he appeared in the garden, he found that there was all sorts of flowers and trees and all sorts of species and all kinds of animals and all sorts of birds, different rivers and all that man could ever long for. God prepared all those things that man would have no need, absolutely need of nothing and when you think about this uh, biblical teaching we could ask ourselves a question why so many millions of beings on planet earth are going through so much need if God's purpose is not that we would be going through difficulties why is there hunger why is there misery why is it that so many people are longing to get a job at least a job to earn a daily living but cannot do so I believe something when we are away from God it seems that the doors are all shut God has not changed. The scripture says that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. God never changes. The thing is that the heart of man is full of fears. When we are able to overcome our fears and turn back to the Lord from the bottom of our heart, we're going to experience the richest blessings from God in our lives. Today, I would like for you to stop for a moment and to think of God's blessings. The Apostle Paul, when he wrote to the Ephesians in chapter 1 and verse 3, he said, Blessed be the Lord and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. And he talks about blessings and he talks about heavenly places. Now, a heavenly place is what we could call a life of faith every blessing of God is kept God's garden it, it remains but it's in the spiritual world and only th those people that have been born again and who have a life of faith the Apostle Paul when he wrote to the Corinthians in his first epistle in chapter 2 and verse 9 he said things that I has not seen nor ear has heard have come up to the Mind of men are the things that God has prepared for those who love Him. What does this mean? It means that God's richest blessings are in the spiritual world and never a man's eye or a human thought could ever, ever get to those blessings. Only The only ones that have a right are those that have been born again and those whose hearts were transformed by the power of Jesus, they could enter into that spiritual world and see God's blessings. We, as pastors and as leaders, we have seen these blessings. Everything that we have conquered, we conquered it thanks to the fact that we discovered this principle that God has a garden of blessings for our lives. And when we understand it, we go in through faith and we take, we see the blessings, we take them and we bring them to the spiritual world and we make them a reality and you could do the very same thing. Just turn your eyes back to God and tell Him, Jesus, help me to understand your principles, the principles in your word so I could step into the spiritual world and so that I could see your blessings and bring them to the natural world. And I know that the Lord himself, he is going to help you today. I would like for you to tell the Lord in prayer, Lord, open my spiritual eyes so that I can see your wonders. And you could be sure that God is going to bless you and he's going to show you everything that he has in store for your life. May the Lord continue blessing you.